special treat today, the first of what I hope is many yet to come, but this is a collaboration between Judy Rustad and myself. The Whirlwind Design Team, Judicon, we are calling ourselves. This came about in a matter of hours. She contacted me on Facebook and asked if I would design a doctor and a nurse. So we're starting with our occupation series. And our first character, again, is Dr. Liddy. For the stethoscope that he's wearing, I have a tutorial on YouTube, so if you would like a stethoscope for your doctor, please check out that tutorial. And today we're just going to be making the doctor. So if you would like the stethoscope, you can watch that tutorial first and then come back, or you can do the doctor first and then do the stethoscope. It's totally up to you. We're going to need our looms set in the offset position and the bands we'll be using are black, skin tone, white, and teal. We will also be using e-beads for the eyes and you will need a c-clip. So let's start with his arms and for that we're going to need white and skin tone and I have Dr. Liddy in a lab coat so his sleeves are going to be white and everything will be double banded and you want to put two white bands from the sixth peg to the fifth peg going down the right and we're going to do this four times with two white bands and then we will need two skin tone bands which we will cap with a single skin tone band wrapped three times around the peg. We're going to do the same thing on the other side two white bands starting from the sixth peg from the bottom and we're going to go down four times again with two white bands each time and two skin tone bands capped with a single skin tone band wrapped three times around the peg. And now we're ready to loop. We're going to reach inside our cap band, grab the bottom two skin tone bands and loop forward to the peg above. You want to make sure you have the teardrop or raindrop shape as you go. And again that you're grabbing both of the bands. We're going to loop the other side again that you're forming the teardrop shape as you loop forward and that you are grabbing both of the bands. And we can take this off the loom and set it aside. Our next attachment is his legs and his sneakers. So for the bottom of his scrubs we're going to use teal bands and we're going to take two teal bands and put them from the fourth peg from the bottom on the right and we're going to do that two times and that will be the bottom of his scrubs and for his sneakers we need two white bands capped with a single white band wrapped three times around the peg and we're going to do the same thing on the other side two teal bands from the fourth peg to the third, two teal bands from the third to the second, and two white bands from the second to the first. And this we will cap with a single white band wrapped three times around the peg. 
and now we can loop making sure that we grab both bands and that we're forming that teardrop shape as we loop forward and we'll loop the other side And this will give us both of our legs and shoes. And we can remove this from the loom. And we'll set this aside. Next, we're going to make his ears and his nose. And for that, we're going to use skin tone bands. And our hook. And we're going to take a single skin tone band wrap it around our hook three times another skin tone band and double it we're going to slide these three loops onto our double loop band we'll do the same thing again for the second ear a single skin tone band wrap it around our hook three times take another skin tone band and double it and we'll thread these three loops onto our double band and we can set this aside as well for the nose we're using skin tone bands as well take a single skin tone band and double it wrap it around our hook three times Take another skin tone band and double it. And we want to slide all of these loops onto our double loop band. And this is his nose. If you've seen any of my other videos, I attach my nose as I'm looping. So I'm just going to leave it here on the hook so that I don't forget. To make the eyes, we're going to use our e-beads and we need white bands and we're going to take a single white band and double it and we're going to tuck our floss through and what I'm using here is actually the grass that you line an Easter basket with it's extremely durable this is the same piece that I've been using now for about four months and uh, it doesn't fray it doesn't break it's just wonderful you want to make sure that the end of your floss slides through your bead so that you can slide the bead down onto your band. And we will place this on our hook. And we're going to do that again for the second eye. A single white band and double it. Tuck our floss through the center. Slide the bead down. Making sure to catch the end of our floss. and slide the bead onto the band. You can also use bands to make your eyes and you would just take whichever color band you wanted your eyes to be and double it, wrap it three times around your hook and thread it onto a double loop white band. And once you have both of those done, whether you're using bands or beads, you're going to take a single skin tone band and slide both of your eyes onto that band and we can set this aside and now we're ready to band our loom and we'll start with his hair and we're going to use black bands and everything will be double banded so you need two black bands and we're going to start by putting two bands from the first peg in the center to the second peg in the center. And then we will put two black bands from the first peg in the center to the first peg on the left. And two black bands from the first peg in the center to the first peg on the right. We're going to continue down the left side with two black bands going two times down the left. 
We'll do the same thing on the right. Two black bands going two times down the right side. We're going to move on to his face and skin tone bands. And we are going to put two skin tone bands continuing down the center. And we're going to do that three times. For his neck, we want to use three skin tone bands and they will continue on down the center. Next, we'll go to the left and continuing down the left side, we're going to put two skin tone bands followed by two skin tone bands from the fourth peg on the left to the fifth peg in the center. Moving over to the right side, we're going to put two skin tone bands followed by two skin tone bands from the fourth peg on the right to the fifth peg in the center. Moving down for the top of his scrubs, we're going to be using two teal bands and we're going to go down four times with two teal bands each time. Now for his lab coat, we're going to need white and we're going to move up to his shoulders and from the sixth peg on the left to the sixth peg in the center, we're going to put two white bands and two white bands from the sixth peg in the center to the sixth peg on the right. Moving over to the left, we're going to start at the sixth peg from the top and we're going to put two white bands going five times down the left side. We're going to do the same thing on the right side and put two white bands going five times down the right side. Again, starting at the sixth peg from the top. For the bottom of his scrubs, we're going to take two teal bands and continue down the center. And we'll move over to the left and put two teal bands to finish off the left side pin. We'll do the same thing on the right and two teal bands, two times going down the right. To close off his pants, we are going to put two teal bands from the third peg in the center to the fourth peg on the left and two teal bands from the third peg in the center to the fourth peg on the right and we're going to cap this with a single teal band wrapped three times around the peg. Now we need to do the extension or the expansion for his lab coat. We're going to start at the shoulders and we're going to take two white bands and go down the left side five times. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side and start again at the shoulders at the sixth peg from the top and we're going to go down the right side five times. There we go. 
Now there are two ways to do these extensions. You could make a five link chain with two white bands each and attach one end to the sixth peg and one end to the eleventh peg and then loop or you could do it this way which is my preferred method. Either way works just as well. And now we're ready for our holding bands and we're going to take a single black band and put it around the first peg on the left and the right and the second peg in the center. We're going to take a single skin tone band and put it around the second peg on the left and right and the third peg in the center. We're skipping the third peg on the left and the right because this is where the eyes are attached. So we're going to take a single skin tone band and put it around the fourth pegs on the left, the right, and in the center. Moving down to his body, we are going to take a single white band and put it around the seventh pegs on the left, right, and center. Same thing, a single white band around the eighth pegs. the ninth pegs and for the tenth pegs we want a single teal band around the tenth pegs on the left, the right, and in the center. Now we're ready for our attachments and we will start with his ears and one will go on the second peg from the top on the left and the other will go on the second peg from the top on the right. Then we have his legs and his feet and they will go on the last peg down on the left and the last peg down on the right. And his arms will go on the sixth peg down from the top on the left and the sixth peg from the top on the right. And next we will attach his eyes. These we're going to attach to the third peg down on the left and we're going to separate the eyes and stretch one of the bands over the third peg in the center and attach the other end over the third peg down on the right. And now we're ready to loop. And normally I would start in the center, but because of my extension bands, I want to start on the left side. So I'm going to reach inside my attachment, grab the bottom two teal bands, and loop them forward. And I'm just going to do that twice and I want to do the same thing on the other side, grabbing just the bottom two bands, making sure that I'm forming my teardrop shape, and I'm only doing that twice. Now we want to move back over to the left, and we're going to reach in and grab just the top two white bands, and we're going to loop them forward. And we're going to go all the way up to the sixth peg where we've attached the arm. So we want to reach inside the holding bands and just grab the top two white bands, making sure again that we are forming our teardrop shape as we go and that we're staying inside the holding bands. Just up to where we've attached the arm. We're going to go over and do the same thing on the right side, grabbing just the top two white bands, forming our teardrop shape as we go, and we want to make sure that we stay inside the holding bands. And again, you want to make sure that you're grabbing just the top two white bands. And once we've looped up to the arms, we want to reach in 
and move all of the extension bands to the outside of the pegs. And we want to make sure that we leave the holding bands in their proper positions. And when we get to the last peg with our white extension band, we want to move just the top bands over. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Starting with the seventh peg, we're going to move all of the extension bands over to the outside. And again, we want to make sure that our holding bands stay where they're at. And when we get to the last peg with white bands, we want to grab just the top two bands and move them over. And now we're ready to loop normally. So we're going to start in the center and reach inside our cap band and grab the top two teal bands, which are going over to the right. The next two bands are going to the left. And now we can continue looping up the left. So we're going to reach in here and grab the two white bands at the bottom and loop them forward. And this time we can loop all the way up to the neck. So again, we want to make sure that we're forming our teardrop or raindrop shape and that we're grabbing just the bottom two bands. And if you find it's a little tight, you can put your hook in and run it around your peg and that will loosen the tension. Now we're going to continue up the right side, mm -hmm. reaching in and grabbing the bottom two white bands. And again, we're going to loop all the way up to the neck, making sure that we stay inside our holding bands and that we're forming our teardrop shape as we go. Now we can loop up the center. We're going to reach in and grab the bottom two teal bands. And forming our teardrop shape. And it's not as difficult in the center to stay inside the holding bands. When we get to the neck, we need to remember that we've used three bands here. So you want to make sure that you grab all three bands and loop them forward. And next we want to reach in and grab the top two skin tone bands and these will go over to the right. The next two are going to the left and the last two will go up the center. And now we can loop up the left side staying inside the holding bands and looping just the bottom two bands, making sure that we don't catch the eye bands or the ear bands. And these we will loop to the top center peg. We'll do the same thing on the right side staying inside the holding bands, being careful that we're not grabbing the bands holding our eyes, and we're forming our teardrop shape as we loop forward to the peg above. And before we continue up the center, from the fourth peg to the third peg is where we attach our nose. So once we grab those bands, we want to slide our nose down onto those bands and then loop them up and around the third peg. And then we can continue up the center with the last two sections. Again, making sure that we're inside the holding bands and forming our teardrop shape. And now we're going to double check that we have looped all of the bands. And 
and then we are going to grab a single black band for a slip knot and we're going to place our hook down through the top center peg making sure that we've gone through all of the bands grab a hold of that black band and pull it through and form our slip knot and now we're ready to remove it from the loom and we're starting at the bottom I remove all of my characters and figures from the bottom I find if you pull them from the top it can stretch them and most of them you don't want stretched very much now bracelets absolutely you probably want them to be stretched a little bit but for the most part your characters and figures you don't when I get here to the neck area I want to put my hook inside and roll it around the peg to loosen the bands and the rest of them should come off fairly easily there we go now he needs a little adjusting I'm going to straighten his legs out make sure his eyes are facing to the front his right ear here needs a little bit of adjusting well my right his left I'm going to poof up his hair a little bit now we're going to attach a mouth and for that I'm using a white band and I'm going to place my hook from the back to the front in the section where the mouth would be grab a hold of one end of the white band and pull it through to the back and again I'm going to put my hook from the back to the front and I will grab the other end of that white band and pull it through to the back and we can secure this with a C-clip so I'm going to put both ends of the, this white band through the C-clip and if you haven't watched any of my previous videos I would like to say I've borrowed this technique from Looming with Cheryl Cheryl Ann Spinelli and I find it is by far the best method for attaching a mouth to your characters so thank you very much Cheryl to adjust his feet what I want to do is place my hook down through the teardrop on his foot and just tug the bands a little bit to the side and this is just going to define his foot a little better and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side put my hook inside and tug the bands to the side and like I said that just gives his feet a little bit of definition and I want his arms to be down a little bit more at his sides so I'm going to place my hook down through the teardrop and I'm just going to tug the bands a little bit and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side put my hook down through the center of the teardrop and just tug the bands a little bit and that will help position his arms down to the sides there we go and now we need to secure the slip knot band and I'm just going to weave it through a couple of spots at the back of his head so that it's tucked out of the way you can also just attach it to the C-clip that's there and there we go I'm 
want to bend his arm at the elbow a little bit, so I'm going to put my hook down through the center of the second white band from his hand, and that will bend his elbow. And I can do the same thing on the other side, putting my hook through the center of the teardrop and giving it a little bend. And as I said at the beginning of the tutorial, if you would like to follow the tutorial for the stethoscope, this is where you would attach it at the end, and we're just going to loop that single gray band around his neck. And that gives us his stethoscope. And there you have it. This is Dr. Liddy. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please comment below. I would love to see your version of this if you make it. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. We have lots more coming up. And between Judicon and I, Judy and myself, she's the brains and I'm the brawn, I guess you could call it. She's coming up with the ideas and I'm designing them and making them. So I'm sure we have lots more to show you and I know I have lots more to show you. I'm going to get back to my Big Brother 16 um, tutorials very shortly as well as the Fairly Odd Parents and Minecraft and I still have lots more to go after that. So don't forget to subscribe so you can find out when new videos are posted. And again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.